Hello my friend, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel and here I am with another great tutorial. First of all, if you are an expert working on this tray, I am pretty sure my video don't left you nothing new, but thank you so much for being here watching this video. And for those who are learning or don't have that much experience, on this video will give you a basic idea how you can make a, a basic customization on a seat phone. What I just see on your screen that is a Ford Ranch uh, Wagon 1960. So I will show you how you can uh, customize the seat phone. Something simple, especially when you don't have an idea how to do it. There are the seats inside the car. Uh, I am not going to show you how to remove it. You will figure out by yourself. It is so simple to remove it. For remove four screw, then you take the seat out. There is the seat out. Then you have to take the seat to the table or the area where you uh, will start working on it. Call this part bar. So basically it is the same. I put a bullet on top of the backrest frame. The uh, purpose of putting that material it is simple, to protect the phone. Then I use a dif uh, different phone density. You will see it. Because the backrest wasn't plain at all. I did this. I put some pieces of phone on top, then I trim it. I had to make flat the backrest. I did that. That is a button cushion from another car. But basically, it is the same what I did on the backrest. There is the backrest. You can see it. It's not plain 100%. But I will show you later. Right now, I'm going to concentrate on this part. See that that is a metal shell, and I have to make that part going in there. Right now, it's not going in because the phone is on the way, so I have to trim in the phone a little by little. See, I get a market, I draw a line around that shell because the customer wants this shell back. That design will be completely different from the front. But on the back, will look the same with that shell. So stay tuned for the for the next video related to this uh, 1964 Ranch Wagon. So I draw a line. Now I start trimming the phone a little by little. See, it? then I get the shell and put it, and I see where do I have to cut more. I had to trim a little more right here. Then I get the shell. And you can see it's going in. It is kind of tight right now, but I will sand it a little bit. Plus, on the leather that I will use, I will use a quarter of an inch. So I have to keep on my all that thickness. Then I get a cheese grater and I start sanding making a smooth that area. I can use a grinder. If you haven't followed my videos on this channel or my Spanish YouTube channel, by the way, on my Spanish YouTube channel, I have more than a thousand videos related to upholstery. Imagine that, more than a thousand videos related to upholstery. So um, I have a video related to that uh, cheese grater. How do I make it? I just get a half inch phone and tape it out on the edges, just the side edges. Then I put glue. I'm going to put them on the center part of this backrest. I want to reduce a little bit that curve, a little bit, not that much. Then I will sand it. I love using this uh, cheese grater to sand foam because everything go to the table, nothing fly. If I use the grinder, a lot of things will fly and I have to put something on my nose, I have to put something on my mouth, on my eyes. So after that, I, I will put a one inch layer of three pounds, 0.5 of density. The color of the phone doesn't mean density because there can be a pink or yellow phone with the same density. So I put glue on the phone, then I put glue on the backrest and let it dry. When the glue is dry, I get the layer of foam, 3.5 pounds of density, and I glue it. There are two ways how you can 
customize a seed form. One is this way, and the other one is eliminate the spring, put a piece of wood, get a five or six inch foam, and start cutting block by block till you get the design that the customer wants. Sometimes I prefer using this method, use a one inch foam, and sometimes when the seed is big, and depend what kind of design the customer want, I eliminate the spring and get a five, six inch thickness foam and I start cutting big pieces and I start building the design that the customer want. So you can see the backrest is plain. Right now I have a chipboard. That is the design that the customer want in the center. So I already have it on the chipboard. I made like a pattern and you can see them on there. Then I get a different density phone. The phone that I am putting glue, it is a 2.5 pounds of density. It is kind of soft in it. And I will glue it into that area. Sometimes a customer want a hard seat like a rock. You have to use uh, a higher density. The phone color doesn't mean the density. A lot of people get confused because they think it, because it's yellow, Yellow is all 2.5 pounds of density. Everywhere you go to buy will be at 2.5 pounds of density. No, I can get the same density on white or on yellow. You can see I go into a taper in there. I don't need nothing there. I want to same level as the white phone in there. Then I draw a line like one inch. And then I will trim it. You can do this manually. You can see it. Sometimes I want those edges on the phone because it looks nice, especially if there is going to be a stitch. But on this case, I kill the edges. I don't want the edges on that phone. So that's what I sanded. The material that I will use for this job, it is from Relic K. So imagine what kind of material it might be. Relic K leather. I am putting glue in there because I don't want that part to be the um, same uh, level. I want to make uh, one part a little bit deeper than the other one. I put glue. Sometimes I apply a lot of glue uh, on the phone because I'm going to sand it. And when I create pressure with my sandblocker with my uh, grinder, I don't want those pieces to come in and glue. So that's what I put a lot of glue. And sometimes I don't put a lot. And there it is. Right here, I'm going to cut a little bit with my utility knife. I don't know if you notice, guy, but you see the phone is not exactly on the line. It is like one quarter away from that mark. Why? Because that stitch, when those pieces of material meet, will be on that line. I don't know if you notice that. If you didn't notice, uh, rewind the video and you will see it. You see, you can see him on there. The yellow phone is not exactly on top of the, or on top of the line that I draw. I am talking about the insert. And I had the, a button cushion already. I didn't show you how you can prepare the button cushion because it is easier than the backrest. That's why I didn't show you. Like I said at the beginning, I am go not going to show you the whole process. And there it is. There it is. I changed completely the way how this seat look original. That's not the original style. But that's what the customer wanted. And we are supposed to work according to what the customer wanted. The same thing, I get the uh, big uh, rear seat. I put a burlan on top. I'm just to protect the phone, I take it to the car and I start drawing the design on the car. Will be the same design. You can see them on there. It will look beautiful. Uh, those chrome go on the side of the backrest. You can see them on there. Left and right side. Then I'm going on the top. It is time to prepare all that time. That consume a lot of time. Keep in mind, my friend, this is just an idea. I know a lot of people who are an expert working on this tray uh, might be watching this video. And thank you so much if you are one of them. I know 
on this video maybe you didn't learn nothing new because you are an expert but for those who are learning this beautiful trace here you have a big idea how you can customize make a basic customization on the phone basic it's not that hard you need the tool uh, the density of the phone it is so important like I say there are two different ways how you can customize a seat on phone one the one that I just showed you the other one it is eliminate those spring and put a, a wood on the bottom and start cutting uh, start using a five or six inches uh, thickness phone and start building like block by block I use that method sometime but on this time I decided to go like the way I show you so thank you so much for watching this video remember any comment leave it on the comment section of this video if you enjoyed this video my friend don't forget to hit the like button believe me that will help me a lot for the um, YouTube algorithms so thank you so much and see you on the next video bye bye